Good morning, everybody. Jenny Nagel with Lip Gloss and Aftershave, of course, joined by my partner, Barry Eichner. He's either here or here. Um, and we are so happy to be back for day two of our virtual skincare festival. It is Monday for anyone who needs that reminder. It's Monday, March 30th, and we are kicking off the 10 a.m. Eastern hour with Lydia Sarfati. So I'm gonna hand it over to Barry. He's gonna do a few housekeeping details for our webinar session this morning. Barry. Hi, good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing? I hope you are all doing well and staying positive. Lydia and I were just talking in the green room prior to coming on that we're doing everything we can to stay positive. So exercising, meditating, eating healthy foods, like doing everything we can to stay positive and upbeat. So I did an hour walk this morning to make sure that I was like centered and ready to go. Um, so housekeeping tips, you can do Q&A. Um, you can put your questions in the Q&A. Lydia will be touching base with those at the end of the hour. She's gonna do about a 45 minute presentation and then she will uh, go through Q&A. Um, if you want to join us on Instagram through this whole session, people have been having fun doing screenshots of the uh, virtual skincare festival sessions or taking photos of their laptop and tagging everyone on Instagram. So it's repishage and lip gloss underscore aftershave. And you can use the hashtag LA Fest um, so that we can all stay connected and uh, communicate through this uh, crazy unprecedented time in our history. Um, Lydia is going to be doing her oncology and aesthetics presentation. Um, Jenny and I will mute ourselves and we'll turn our cameras off. So it'll just be Lydia and the presentation. So Lydia, I take it over to you and I'm gonna mute. If you need anything from Jenny and I, just shout out and we'll be back. Uh, before you go, I just want to say uh, you and Jenny, and lip gloss aftershave, your community are doing really a great job. You know, sometimes in these type of unbelievable times, you and Jenny and Repishage, we all jump in to create educational webinars, to stay in touch with the community and to be there for our beauty industry. So thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you so much, Barry, and you're both terrific. Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. Lydia. Thank you. So, hello, everyone. And this is Lydia Serfati, and welcome to Lip Gloss and Aftershave Community. I am so, so pleased to be here with you and for you and share with you today information that uh, really will help you now and in the future with clients that are coming in with skin that it has that barrier disruption. And I will talk in detail a little bit more about that. So for those of you who are perhaps just meeting me for the first time, uh, I doubt it, but there might be still. <laughs> I, I do so many trade shows over the years that I'm sure I've met each and every one of you at some point in my life. Uh, I am Lydia Sarfati. I'm the president and founder of Repishage. And Repishage means a second chance. And when I started the company back in 1980, 40 years ago, second chance meant second chance for beautiful skin, creating wonderful experiences. And also, I very immediately understood back in 1977, actually, when I opened my first spa in Manhattan, that understanding business is so important. Uh, because when I've opened my first business was recession, inflation, political crisis, of course, nothing like we are experiencing today. But early on, I realized that when life gives you lemons, make a lemonade. So this virtual training is our lemonade. Virtual ability to connect with our each other is our lemonade. So um, I received over the years many, many awards, uh, which I'm very, very proud of. 
but uh, the one that really touched my heart was receiving the Sedesco Medal de Merit in September of 2019, uh, which is given to individuals every two years who have contributed greatly to the professional skincare industry. My passion has always been education. My passion always has been delivering wonderful results and never compromising the knowledge, never compromising the skin, never compromising who we are. So I am very pleased to be here with you today. A word about repechage. It's again, since 1980, I realized that uh, back then, uh, many of you may realize that there was not even an esthetician's license in the United States, a cosmetologist. Mass cosmetologist was able to provide all services. So, um, you know, we have come a long way and Repechage has been the only dedicated professional skincare line to the esthetician for over four decades. We did not sell, we did not sell to many of the retail outlets. We are always there for you. So we are made in the USA, yes. <laughs> and um, I wanted to say something, but I won't. Um, we are a certified ISO company, which means we have an international standard operating certificate, uh, which indicates our highest professional operation in all areas of manufacturing, compounding, R&D, education, marketing, sales, and shipping. We are also Sedesco Associate Member, and I am also a President of Sedesco Section USA. Our R&D Lab has also creates our proprietary extraction process of seaweed that is sustainably harvested right here in the USA of the coast of Maine. So repechage key ingredients and the core of our ingredients. This is one of our harvesters, Micah, which you wanna go harvesting with him. Now it is sustainably harvested, which means that you understand that seaweed has no roots. So the entire body of seaweed, it's called thallus. And if you cut seaweed at a certain point, that plant can live sometimes up to 60 years and provide and continue to provide and reproduce and have seaweed babies. So seaweed is a miraculous plant. And of course, um, the core of uh, repechage seaweed uh, is Laminaria digitata and Ascophyllum nodosum. I call these seaweeds the jewel of the sea as they contain 12 vitamins, 18 amino acids, 42 trace elements and minerals, phytohormones, fluorotannins, and polysaccharides. In fact, everything that we need to sustain life not only to sustain life, but to sustain life at cellular level. And you must know that Japanese people eat about 50 grams of seaweed a day. And as you can see, and I'm sure you've read and know, uh, Japanese enjoy longevity. I think they are number one in the world for longevity. So they have healthy diet and certainly understand the importance of seaweed in their daily diet. So the key benefits once the seaweed is processed is hydrating, moisturizing, desquamating, and diminishing appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. The repechage difference from other companies, and I'm talking in our space of professional skincare industry. Again, we are all made in USA in our manufacturing facility. And I know Barry and Jenny were here. They, you know, I call it the chocolate, uh, uh, Willy Wonka chocolate factory. So you really can see how things are made and they made here, they made right here in the USA. 
We provide um, marvelous education here in the academy. So once coronavirus is over, I welcome each and every one of you to come and join us, come and see our factory, be a part of our community. The CW technology is a proprietary technology that we have. And Professor Charles Yarish helped us repechage. In fact, David Serfati and Professor Yarish have gone on a trip to Maine and they have uh, met wonderful harvesters there. And uh, Professor Yarish has really helped us to find these marvelous seaweed beds right here in USA. So we always, number one, create skincare products that produce results, are good for you, are tested. We do RIP tests with our products, which is repeat, repeat insult patch test. Safety, safety, safety. And then we clinically test whether what we say actually works. So you have a company that really stands behind what we say, we prove what we say is true, and we've been in business delivering wonderful results for the last 40 years. My dear father used to say, there is no hocus pocus here. It is the truth, science, and always delivering the very best for you. I was the first one to create Unidose application back in 1980. And do you know why I did it? Because as a spa and salon owner, it used to drive me absolutely mad when I would go into a facial room and so open jars, lids not put in, it, it, it would really drive me insane, I must admit to you completely. So I said, I, how do you eliminate this? Of course, you can talk, you can say, you can do whatever you want to do. Human nature is what it is. So I back then decided that all my professional facial treatments are going to be unidose. Unidose, open at the time of application, throw it away, and you have perfect results, safety and hygiene. More so important now than ever. But this idea was born out of necessity, as all ideas are. Unidose professional system that helps estheticians globally, and today Repechage is in over 50 countries, to deliver perfect results each and every time. I always say if you can count to eight, you can do Repechage facial, if you're a professional licensed esthetician. So my work, the Repechage company, the Repechage products have been presented in so many wonderful magazines and TV shows. That editorial recognition was very important when I was starting because there was no internet. <laughs> so the word that you were able to, uh, you know, sing the accolades of the philosophy of the products, the treatment, were done through the magazines. It's very different today. But Vogue, Glamour, uh, Good Morning America, Mademoiselle, when it existed, Harper's Bazaar, New York Times, um, Women's Wear Daily, were all there in the beginning of my career to help to get the word out about my work, about repechage, and about the point of difference with seaweed. So thank you for listening to the history of repechage. But today's webinar, <clears throat> it's about oncology aesthetics. I was introduced to oncology aesthetics by a very good friend of mine, Angela Noviello. I call her the ambassador of uh, aesthetics, the ambassador of repechage, the ambassador of oncology aesthetics in Italy and Europe. She has learned many things from Maura Kari. And she introduced me to the importance of oncology aesthetics. Why is that so important? Because as you, I wish those numbers were not true, 
But as of January 2019, it is estimated that there are 16.9 million cancer survivors in the United States alone. This represents 5% of population. These cancer survivors, not only breast cancer survivors, prostate cancer, many cancers, really are undergoing many challenges with health, emotion, and care. And Angela has really shared with me her passion to help the people in this particular predicament. You know, clients are coming to your salon and sometimes they don't tell you, they don't reveal. So it will be very important in the upcoming slides for you to understand what is the precaution that you have to take. But also beside the oncology patients, they are, when they are in your salon, they are your clients, but there are many other compromised skin conditions, which I will discuss later. So remember, no matter what your health is, you still want to look good. You still want to feel good. Um, it's not vanity, it's psychological well-being. When you have your skin done, when you put your makeup on, when you have your hair done, you feel immediately better. So what is oncology aesthetics? Awaken the emotion, promote relaxation, promote blood circulation, promote hydration, relax the nervous system. Teach the client even proper breathing, reduces the feeling of pain, reduces the side effects of nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, promotes faster healing, improves quality of tissue, where the scars are present, awakens the emotions, reduces anxiety and depression, promotes really truly emotional well being, promotes recovery of your image, and makes the patient, in your case, would be a client, aware of their recovery. It also helps with recovery from anesthesia. And believe it or not, it also reduces hospital stay. And who wants to be in a hospital for a long time? So let's give hope. Let's give hope to all the clients that need us. But before you do that, you have to ask yourself, are you comfortable working with oncology patients? Can you work with a client that has no hair or has a prosthetic body part? Can you handle a client that may have emotional issues related to the illness? So proper etiquette is very important. And we actually talk about the proper etiquette in the book that Maura Caring and I co-produced, and we will have a nice little um, promotion about it at the end. So it's very important to educate yourself, to understand the etiquette, to understand what is that you can do and how you should behave. Because the worst thing you can say, oh my God, and start crying, not a good thing. Not everyone will have a cookie cutter spa service. Spa services for oncology patients have to be customized for every client's safety. So you have to understand, for example, if they're coming in for a manicure, would you be soaking their fingertips? You have to practice the highest form of sterilization, very, very important. Rule number one when it comes to oncology aesthetics, do not harm. That is something that has to be really embedded in your mind. Knowledge is everything. Learn how to modify and when to modify the spa services 
during the critical phase, before and during cancer treatment. Teamwork is essential. Acquaint yourself with oncology specialists in your area and introduce yourself once you study and learn how you can become beneficial for these oncology patients. And remember, knowledge is everything. I know Morg is offering some oncology training online as well, free. So the key here is intake card and registration process. You have to ask the clients many questions and you have to get familiar again with some of the medications that they are taking as there will be side effects and you have to understand that, okay? Now, mastering the ingredients. Uh, you're not a chemist. You should never pretend to be one. Uh, this is what I see very often in our um, industry that, uh, you know, estheticians like to play doctors. <laughs> they still think they're four. Or they like to play chemist. And none of that is what is a part of the schooling. So um, don't be a chemist, don't be a doctor, be a best possible esthetician and gain the knowledge in everything that you need to know. So now rule number one, avoid perfumes, parabens, oxybenzones, glycols, alcohol, sulfates, and triclosan. There are some of the ingredients and the rest of those kind of not advisable ingredients are in this book. So we will share that at the end with you. Beware. Clients and survivors of cancer feel very disconnected from their bodies. The power of touch can reveal stress and hidden or contained feelings of neglect. Think about it. Their loved ones, their spouses, their partners are afraid to touch them. So they are starving for the touch. They're starving for the healing. They're starting for feeling the sensory elements of touch. So what you can do is, because today you cannot see them, but when you can, you actually can show them and teach them how to use this wonderful Kanza massager. And I will explain a little bit about it in a minute. But always stay in the moment with them and teach them how to take care of their skin, of their skin, and skin is not just face, of their skin head to toe. Remember, skin is the largest organ that we have. Even if we would take it off our body and put it on the floor, it would cover about 20 square feet of an area. So that's huge amount. And we never think of the skin that large. We never think of a skin as an organ that it's interacting with all of our other organs. Skin does not end at your chin. It's from the skull to the toes, to the soles of your feet, we have skin, touch is very important. Healing hands for these clients are the most important things as well. So etiquette number one, don't talk, listen, please. Sometimes it's very difficult because we're so in tune to just talk, 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 talk. And it's very difficult to do that. So listen, please, keep it simple. Be aware of the condition, careful pressure, effleurage, not kneading, not tapotment, just effleurage, beautiful movement. Safety first, in the front of you is a client with very fragile body and suppressed immunity. Do the right thing. And again, on immunity, there are so many autoimmune diseases, not just cancer. A client may have Crohn's, they may have colitis, they may have diabetes, they may have so many other autoimmune diseases 
that you have to be aware. An educated aesthetician is aware of the autoimmune diseases and how to treat the client the right way with comfort and safety. Disinfection. Now, of course, I don't need to probably tell you because you hear this all day long from CDC. Wash your hands, wash your hands, but also use sanitizers. In fact, Repechage was approved to also manufacture a hand sanitizer. So we will be going into production this week. We will have a very special offer for all of our aesthetic community to help you during this very difficult time. But always, it shouldn't be only coronavirus scare. Always we should have a very, very thorough sanitation, very thorough sterilization process, whether we do brow waxing, whether we do body waxing, whether we do manicure, Whatever we do in the salon, we take it for granted. And I see this all the time. You know why? Because I go to salons all the time. I'm probably your best client. So disinfection and sterilization. sterilization. <laughs> so all your metal implements need to be autoclave. And anything like, for example, Kanzam wand, or uh, you know, stainless steel silver ball massager. They have to be washed with soap, water, kinds of ones sprayed with vinegar, silver ball, for example, sprayed with alcohol, and then put into the UV uh, sanitizer. Small accommodations for your client as well. So in the room, have a step stool for them to easily get onto the facial bed. If you do not have an electric facial bed that you can go up and down. Also create a mannequin hat so they can put their wig. Make sure that you understand their needs um, because that really means you truly care. So for the treatment that you would provide your client once they're going to be coming into your salon or spa is you will need certain essentials. And those essentials are eye makeup remover, red out cleanser, which is a very gentle cleanser, Hydra Dew Pure Oil, and Silver Ball Massager, Kanza Wand, Lamina Mask, Hydra 4 Moisturizer, mineral face shield, and mineral makeup. So the first thing with the facial would be, of course, cleansing gently the eye makeup, and then cleansing the skin. As you see, I'm using just cotton. I don't use sponges, I don't use hot towels on the face, and I don't use steam, because that's the last thing, a skin that is compromised needs this kind of abrasive um, elements on their face, okay? Always use cotton, always use tissue to pet dry, don't rub it on the face, don't make friction, very, very important. Massage is so essential. This statement is from Dr. Bowel. Uh, it, it is uh, something that I read it all the time but massage therapy is among the integrative modalities that play an important role in cancer supportive care. Both the National Comprehensive Cancer Network, clinical practice guidelines in oncology guidelines, and clinical guidelines in the use of integrative therapies recommend massage to reduce cancer-related fatigue, pain, mood disturbance, and lymphedema. Think about it. With the healing hands that you can have, you can provide so much good. But I want to just say, use your hands, not only for oncology patients, but for all facials. Because these two things, these two things you have are really the best tools you have 
to create a remarkable experience for your client. So I have also developed this beautiful oil specifically for compromised skin. And um, I have to share with you a, a little story. Actually, when I was in hospital last summer, I was reading a lot. And um, I read about mastic and I read about Chio Island in Greece, where it's an ancient island in Greece, where this particular tree grows, produces this marvelous tears of mastic from which the oil is made. And I immediately called my R&D team and I said, you have to absolutely get it. So by the time I got out of the hospital, we had mastic oil from Greece and we created this beautiful, beautiful, delicious oil that's so healing, so soothing. And in the beginning for very selfish reasons to help me heal all my scars. But this is happened to be a real true miracle. One of our wonderful account executive, Marissa, unfortunately was diagnosed with breast cancer and is undergoing radiation. And this Hydrodu Pure Oil saved her skin. So what is it? Beside the wonderful mastic oil, we have organic hemp oil, we have wonderful Japonica seed oil. We have delicious, delicious Laminaria Digitata. That's all that I can tell you. It's just, and there's no perfume in it, no fragrance. And the mastic oil itself just smells so healing and soothing and calming. I cannot begin to tell you. Hippocrates wrote that mastic oil basically can treat everything. And I know people in Greece use it all the time. So now you can use it as well. So what are the ingredients in it? Laminaria digitata, we already talked about it. Look how beautiful, look how gorgeous the Chio Mastija is. Mastic oil, essential oil derived that is considered interest because of its marvelous beneficial properties. It is known to strengthen the skin barrier, to instantly reduce dryness and provide lasting comfort. So this is Hydrodu Pure Oil. Again, I can't get enough of it. I could, I could actually just use it all over my body. You can use it on your face. You can use it for massages. You could actually also use Kanza wand on it. And I will tell you a little bit more about the Kanza wand later. But I have to tell you, once you even apply it, there's something maybe psychological, but I feel immediately like I'm healing and I feel better and I feel calmer. Again, maybe it's psychological, maybe it is the oil, but it helps. Camellia Japonica seed oil is marvelous. Look how gorgeous it is too. Uh, the sunflower seed oil, the sweet almond oil. Uh, of course, everybody knows about vitamin E is an antioxidant superstar and it includes uh, protection from harmful UV radiation and pollution and olive oil, of course, the Greeks, the Italians, the Spaniards know about the properties of olive oil. They eat it in everything, <laughs> uh, salad, fish, bread, and it's certainly very, very healthy. And olive oil extracts that we use are organic and definitely help with a compromised uh, skin due to the either chemical aggression or environmental aggression. Safflower seed oil, and uh, with this oil, you would provide the Hydrodu pure oil, you would put 10 drops, and you would just provide a beautiful effleurage massage. So we don't do tapotment, we don't do petrissage, we don't do kneading, we don't do any of it, we just do 
calming effleurage movement. And I just want to mention that these um, webinars will live on. And after this webinar, we will also send you a link so you can have it and you can copy the movements. But also these movements are found in our book, the Oncology Aesthetics book as well. So this is basic effleurage movement. This is a movement I actually created almost 30 years ago. I call it simply the waltz around the face, but it feels fantastic. And effleurage on the platysma muscle, neck, and decollete. You can then continue on with the cancer wand. So you can definitely continue on with the cancer wand movements. And you would basically do kind of like a zigzag going in, you know, lightly down back to the nose area. And you can put just a little pressure going up. So you would put it down gently and then up and then down and then up again. So very gentle downward movements and then a little pressure, not too much pressure going upwards. So we have, again, all these movements are created for you and you will be able to learn and study them, okay? And then again, these movements are available in, your, in the book that we will have for you. So the Kanza One movement, I always love, you know, even when I'm home alone, I just use the massage, the oil, massage the cream, or even um, use it on the decollete and the neck area. It feels really great. Uh, you can also use it on your feet. It feels really wonderful as well. So then once you finish your massage, we would apply the lamina mask. We could apply either the lamina mask or the red out mask, depending on uh, the redness or uh, the, the barrier disruption. So both of those masks are wonderful for this type of condition. And again, as you see, the sheet mask, they are single dose application. So again, safety, 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 and great ingredients. But look at these beautiful ingredients. Um, aloe vera, uh, rooibos tea, which is so healing, uh, horse chestnut extracts, hyaluronic acids, carrageenan, laminaria digitata, aloe vera. So it's very calming and very soothing. Now, once we apply the sheet mask on, I love using on top of the sheet mask, I love actually using the silver bowl. So I love also using the silver bowl or teaching the client how to use the silver bowl, especially around the eye area. And if we've been crying a lot, this is really very calming and very soothing and it reduces the puffiness. So this is a go-to to reduce edema and puffiness in the skin. You then remove the mask and you apply a moisturizer and a protective cream. Always I like to finish my makeup application because you want to make the client feel great. And repechage makeup is really good for you. It's all based on seaweed. So we have laminaria, we have ascophilum. So it's good for your skin. It's actually like putting on an invisible veil that won't put go into your pores, won't make you look blotchy, and won't make you look like you're wearing you know, tons and tons of makeup. Show the client the mirror and show them how gorgeous they look and how beautiful they look. It will always put their smile on their face and it will be very appreciative to you and they won't be able to even wait to return again for another treatment. At home care with a red out, with a hydrophore collection, it's all based on the wonderful ingredients I talked about earlier. And a very special promotion that we're doing is we actually giving away um, the Hydro Dew Pure Oil. 
And uh, here you are, a regular value is $65 for professionals, retail is under than 30. And you just need 10 drops of it. So this is our giveaway. And uh, we will also, our special offer for you is the oil, the Kanza wand, the Kanza wand, and also the book, all for very special price of $159. All you have to do is use a special code called the Libgloss at checkout. So you go to repechage.com slash Libgloss and then use a special code Libgloss at checkout and you will receive this wonderful kit that you can A, offer it to your clients that they can do a treatment themselves at home, or you can also have it for your future salon visits. Always about learning, so edu.learningwithlydia.com and all the webinars that we schedule for this month. I will be doing three webinars this week, two webinars next week, so tune in and catch our webinars and our education and very special promotion. My next webinar will be about um, rosacea and sensitive skin. So please join us on April 6th and join to promote, learn, and become a Repechage partner today. So I just want to take uh, three minutes to explain to you what we have done is we have created partners.repechage.com program. So for lip gloss and aftershave community, if you become our partner, we can actually, because we know you don't have access going into your salons, we will be able to ship directly the products to your clients and you will get commission for everything that we ship to your client. So this will perhaps sustain you financially. Uh, basically what you can do, you can uh, do FaceTime, virtual consultation with your clients. You then will go in and send the order. We ship the order. We send you the money on monthly basis. So this is what we are doing for the community in helping you financially as well. So get your link. It's repechage.com slash your name and partners.repechage.com. You can always get in touch with us through our customer service, through Aaron, through Tony, through Marissa. We are here for you to help you with solutions. Another very good news, as you know, we had $1,500 minimum order. So no minimum requirements for all professional orders. So order visit us at pro.repechage.com. You can call us and we are here for you. This is what we are doing. This is what Repechage is doing. Repechage, second chance for beautiful skin, beautiful community and keeping our industry healthy. And we now can open to questions. All right, Lydia, thank you so much. That was a wealth of information. You received a ton of amazing feedback um, as you were speaking. And for me and Barry, I'm sure you can agree, hearing that you guys are doing the dropship program is amazing. We have seen amazing responses through our community for the, the brands that are offering this. Um, it allows the estheticians a way to stay connected with their clients. Um, I'm seeing a lot of um, Instagram direct message conversations that people are having with their clients. Zoom is obviously an extremely popular way to stay connected. So it's so great to hear that um, you guys are offering that. I love it. Yes. So I am ready to take some questions. Jenny? So the first one um, was, is there a video tutorial for the Kanza wand massage? Yes, we do. And actually I forgot to mention, 
but they will be able to get with that special promotion for lip gloss uh, community, they will be able to get the link for the entire facial uh, for oncology patients and also the Tanza One massage technique. Perfect. A lot, of, um, a lot of people are also asking if they will have access to this PowerPoint presentation. So is that something that you'll send as well? Yes, so once, uh, I believe you have recorded it, right? We have. Yes. yes. So once you send us the link, we will share, you can share that link with everyone that tune in on your end, and we certainly will share the link to our wonderful estheticians so they can also get online and get it, uh, get it done. Wonderful. Okay. Go ahead, Bear, do you wanna read some of these? Um, I don't have them open. Um, okay, let me see. Uh, is the metal Konza wand, what is the metal Konza wand made of and how does it impact the skin? Very good question. So the Konza wand is ancient copper and tin. So it's Ayurvedic, it's made in India by hand for us. And it's been really practiced in the Ayurvedic medicine for centuries. Uh, we of course know about tons of ones from our Ayurvedic learning. And uh, I've decided to create, have one created, especially for repishage, because I wanted a special wood and I wanted a special, you know, fine finishing on it. So it's really a beautiful wand and it, it just really creates a wonderful massage technique, not only for, uh, for example, for clients with compromised skin, but for clients with dry skin as well. And then um, Lydia, someone asked about the, the webinars, links for webinars. I know that you have um, those on your Facebook page and your Instagram. So if you're watching this, Liz, just go to Facebook and go to Repishage's Facebook page and you can get all of the links to her webinars that are coming up. Because I know that they just added um, another one that I think is genius, Lydia. It's uh, the one where you're doing with um, stress in the, in the skin. Amazing. Uh, with the doctors, with yes. the two doctors, yes. Yes, so we are very excited about that one is on Thursday and um, it's going to be a really, truly very interesting webinar because one of the doctors is a holistic doctor and um, also a medical doctor. So I, I think we are all going to share some of the collective ideas of how to help people to stay us look everyone is stressed out that's the truth but to help people how to cope with the stress i think is the most important thing right now absolutely absolutely and nutrition and nutrition you know is a very very big part of how to keep your stress level down so not eating uh, foods that cause inflammation in your body. Absolutely. That, we have two nutrition segments. Uh, one is at 11 o'clock today, and then another one is coming oh, up wonderful. in so our perfect. April session. Yeah, so we're really focused on that. Um, Lydia, when, for, uh, for wiping the face, can they use towels? What type of towel and what temperature? Yes. I don't recommend using towels ever because for a number of reasons. Number one is how do you really wash them and sterilize them? How do you keep them clean? Number two, every towel is just too abrasive. So for me, using cotton, not even sponges, is the best way to provide professional care for the client and to also teach the client how to take care of their skin at home by using cotton and not taking a towel and rubbing aggressively their face. So no towels no and towels. no sponges. Okay, and then uh, Lydia, do you recommend aromatherapy with oncology facials? Not really, for a number of reasons, because um, you know, um, aromatherapy, when we're talking about the essential oils, sometimes they are too, if they're real pure, they're too powerful 
And then um, the clients are so sensitive to perfume. I mean, whether it is a natural perfume or synthetic perfume, it's a perfume. So I would say stay away from very fragrant uh, products and very fragrant essential oils. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, Lydia. Um, the next question is, uh, if the client had um, lymph auxiliary nodes removed, can you perform massage? Yes, you can, but you have to be, again, very careful. I would only do the effleurage massage, and I would only use uh, for any kind of, inst you know, implement, I just would use the kinds I want oil and always massage towards the heart. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Lydia. Um, a quick question about the, your, um, your sheet masks. Is the, someone's asking if the backing, that plastic backing is recyclable, can they put that in their recycling container? Uh, so for example, this, I just will open it once so we can see how it comes to. The nice thing about the Repisha sheet masks is that you know a lot of there are a lot of sheet masks out there that really are so difficult to put on and to remove and you can see how easy it is the sheet mask itself is uh, recyclable so this is made of this fiber and cotton the plastic backing they can throw it away together where they are bottles so it's not biodegradable, but it's recyclable. Wonderful, thank you. Lydia, Angela is asking, she loves your four layer facial. She's been using it for 20 years. Do you recommend the four layer facial for oncology clients or just stick with the seaweed mask only? Uh, for the oncology clients, and thank you, Angela, for loving four layer facial for the last 20 years. Uh, I would recommend the three-step facial, just the seaweed. So we, would, we could do the serum, the cream, and the seaweed mask. And I would skip the uh, mineral mask component uh, for the client. They could also do, of course, any of the sheet masks. They could also do the red out facial on the oncology patient as well. So we have a wonderful red out facial with a particular seaweed called Ayosa, and that is very calming and very soothing as well. Wonderful. And then speaking of the red out facial, um, uh, Ms. K. Jazz uh, wants to know if oncology clients have contraindications to seaweed, will red out be the only product of choice, choice of product? No. Uh, actually, as uh, maybe you have missed some of the initial slides, but seaweed is a very potent healing. Uh, natural from single source, the sea ingredient. And we harvest our seaweed, we process our seaweed. So we know exactly from literally soup to nuts, how this ingredient is made. What very often people have allergies to is to the byproduct, because a lot of companies, they will use alcoholic extraction process with high content of alcohol. They will use a very high content of other byproduct. So you really don't know, um, you know, what is in that raw material, what is in the ingredient. The real ingredient itself, the seaweed coming from sea is a single source there is never any chemicals, uh, preservatives that are used in it. So it's very healthy. They can actually, we have a beautiful product called the seaweed bath. They can soak in it. I had clients with lupus that literally saved their skin. So seaweed is wonderful. But how seaweed is harvested, what species of seaweed, and how it is processed is very important. Lydia, back. I'm glad that you brought up the body because you did have a few questions on that. Um, someone has a client with skin cancer. What can she use on her body? She's very dry. Mm -hmm. And someone also asked if you'd massage any other parts of the body other than the face. Yes. Yeah, so first, what do we have for the body? And I'm really happy uh, I have 
had this question. So one of the things that we have to avoid is completely soaps with sodium lauryl sulfate because that is very, uh, very drying, very dehydrating, and it really uh, removes the skin barrier. So what we recommend for cleaning the body is ingredients like cocomidropropyl betaine, and we have several foam mousse cleansers that they would use to wash the body, like a pro size of hydro refine or hydro dew. Uh, now for the day, or if even better, if they can get that, I recommend no soap at all. And what they can do is to use body oil. They can put warm body oil all over their, their body and then just rinse it with lukewarm water, not hot. They can follow up with the seaweed body cream, which is terrific, very hydrating, very moisturizing, and not heavy. And for the hands, they can use the hand cream. So the hand cream they can use, it's not big, they can keep it in their purse uh, once we are able to get out of our houses and then just reuse it all the time. So as far as doing body massages, we have several different body oils that are available for the beauty therapist to use in their practice as well. Do you have any more, Jen? Um, well, I think if anyone has, there were a few questions about opening orders and minimums and such and how long that duration would take place. So Lydia, who should they reach out to for any account questions? Erin. Erin. And they can call us on our toll-free number, 1-800-248-7546. Am I correct on that? Yes. yes. Or a a regular number 201-549-4200. We have a wonderful ambassador at the desk called Shannon. They can call her. And uh, Shannon, Amber, Erin is here, Marissa is here, and Tony are here. They're all ready and very, very helpful to help any of the lip gloss and aftershake community to become our members to become our um, clients. We welcome you with and open for, arms. So for those of you watching, we are going to be doing all of the replay. We're going to be sending out, um, we're already sending out emails to download our app. The replays will be in the app and we're going to do with them as fast as we can. So let's keep your notifications on and we'll notify you when they come. In that, next to the replay is going to be all of the information that Lydia just gave you. So it's going to be the information on the, the special for the um, oncology kit. It's going to have um, all of the links that she provided. We have, and we're going to put those in there for you. It's going to be one stop. So we've got you covered. Lydia, with that, we are at uh, 1058. So we've got to say thank you so much for this wonderful time. Um, we appreciate you taking time out of your schedule. Well, uh, uh, Barry I, and Jenny, thank you so much. And uh, Jenny, if you don't mind sending me the questions, I'd be very happy to answer those questions personally to all of your viewers so they will have uh, my personal answer and we will address all of their questions. So again, thank you so much, Barry. Thank you, Jenny. And we look forward to working with you continually while now and forever. So right. thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank, thank you so much, Lydia. Yes, stay healthy. Thank you. Bye.